What's going on everyone? My name is Justin. I am HS Guitars on well, all the social medias, I guess. And everybody else was making an intro video, so I said, why not? I'll do one too. So, welcome to my little work area. My experience is limited. I have built one kit guitar so far, and I do my own setups. That's about it. That's about all I got. Here is the plan for build number two, which will be GGBO this year. I'll take you through it. Let's take a look at my first build real quick. It's a simple Les Paul set neck kit, uh, flame maple veneer on top. The finish was originally purple. It has kind of gone brown over the past year, thanks to the cheap poly that's on it. It's got Warman pickups in it now. It originally had Seymour Duncans, which are donated to this year's GGBO build. And yes, the tailpiece is crooked. I thought it would look good to match it to the bridge, and it doesn't. So, lessons learned, I suppose. Forgot to mention in the intro that I am also buying very cheap guitars off of Facebook Marketplace just to get more practice doing well, fret jobs and setups, really. This one is almost done. Frets are looking decent, even though some of them don't appear to be seated all the way, even though they are. I don't think the slots were cut deep enough. But yeah, just weighing on a nut, and then this little cheapy wash burn will be back on sale on Marketplace. So, basic plan is an Explorer. This is a standard Gibson Explorer shape. The body is alder, I think. Don't mind that control cavity hole. Uh, kit comes from Guitar Kit World. I've had this kit for over a year sitting in my garage. And it will be getting a poplar burl top, which I have already glued up. It's going to look pretty cool. I've been doing some color testing as well. It's going to be a natural to blue burst, possibly something along those lines. I've got another blue coming from Crimson soon, so I'll be doing some more color tests before I actually stain the thing. And then the neck is also an alder neck, rosewood fretboard. It's kind of a pretty piece of wood, actually. I think it'll look good when it's all finished. And the headstock will also be getting a poplar burl veneer on top. The pickups that will be in this are a pair of Seymour Duncans. It will be a TV14 Custom 5 in the bridge and a SH2 Jazz in the neck. This has become one of my favorite pickup sets for reasons I can't explain. I just absolutely love it. All passive. They sound fantastic. As you may have seen in the intro video, the bridge is going to be this beauty, Nevertune Bridge. It is actually the Fender style. The Explorer is obviously a Gibson style tunematic bridge, but I didn't like the looks of how the Gibson style Evertune looks, so I've got the Fender one, and I'll probably have to play with the neck break angle because why not add more complexity to my life? Now with this, there's a, there's some templates for the install of it. And yeah, there's, there's a couple there. There's, there's eight different templates, but it's nice. It comes with all the drill bits you need and all the templates are very nicely precision cut out of acrylic. So it should go smoothly. I hope we will find out. Here is a side profile shot of the Evertune just for funsies. And yeah, looking forward to getting into this build and look forward to see what all of you have to build. It's going to be fun. Let's get to it. 